Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In the upcoming exercise Operation Dakshin Shakti, the grid bots Titan and Zeus are going to participate with Indian Army tanks and BMPs. This is a significant development which is pointing towards Indian Army focus towards the AI powered robots to be used in modern warfare with other manned assets of Army. The firm Gridbot has expertise in developing self-programmable robots for both civil and military application. In today's video, we are going to discuss in detail about the features of two robots of Gridbot which is going to participate in Operation Takshin Shakti. The first one is Gridbot Titan. Titan is a multi-utility combat vehicle which can autonomously perform multiple types of operation in the battlefield without any human assistance or intervention thereby minimizing the risk for the infantry and enhancing their capabilities on ground operations. It can be used for unmanned and autonomous conduct of silent real-time day and night surveillance, can support weapon mount, situational awareness casualty evacuation, carriage and delivery of operational loads in desert plains and high altitude. It has a thermal sight with 360 degree panoramic view and two way audio communication. The robot weighs around 1000 kg and has a payload capacity of 1500 kg. It has a speed of 20 km per hour and 45 degree climbing capability. The robot has operational range of 20 km and can operate in autonomous, manual and follow me mode. We can also see a Moog-3 anti-tank guided missile which is developed by BDL mounted on the robot. Talking about a Moog-3, it is powered by dual thrust rocket motor with thrust vector control and burns smokeless propellant. The terminal seeker has dual mode that is EOIR electro optical infrared seeker by Tonbo Imaging. It will have inbuilt libraries of infrared images of military targets. Therefore, it uses AI for identifying those targets. These images are used for training the algorithm to correctly categorize, classify and identify various types of military targets. The missile also has capability to identify the weak spot in the target. For example, we know that the modern main battle tank has weak point from top. The missile has ability to change its course and reorient itself to the weak spot of the target automatically. The target must be locked before launch. The missile uses an anti-armor tandem warhead which can penetrate 650mm beyond explosive reactive armor. The missile has an operational range between 200 to 2500 meters with 18 kg of weight. BDL has planned to further reduce it to 15 to 16 kilograms. The next robot is Gridbot Zeus, which is a high payload autonomous robot which can transport payloads on cross country terrains. The robot weighs around 750 kilograms and has a capacity of 1500 kilograms. It has speed of 15 km per hour and 45 degree climbing capability. The robot has operational range of 20 km and can operate in autonomous manual and follow me mode. Zeus can be used for support weapon mount logistics, transportation, med evac and other battlefield requirements. It has capability to move in swarms where the automatic person or the leader following and auto target lock features to save time and resources of the troops in the battlefield. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.